Hi, darlings. How are you today? Good, good. Well, today I need to straighten my hair and I thought, let me go ahead and film it. Um, so I washed it about three hours ago. So I let it air dry. I'm gonna get highlights in it. So um, we looked it up and it said to come with no product in it. But I mean, <laughs> normally at the shower, I'll put like, let me start actually working on it while we're talking. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so we'll just go piece by piece. We have the straightener right here heating up for us. And so I'm gonna need to comb it out. I haven't combed it out, I just let it air dry. So I took the shower and then I, um, I did uh, some work and then I cleaned the kitchen. And um, what else did I do? Cleaned the bathroom and um, the dining area as well. So we touched up on uh, those things there. But now it is time to put the work in. <laughs> so I normally don't um, like straightening my hair because one, it's time consuming. Two, it's terrible, 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 terrible for your hair. And it dries it out. It doesn't make it smell as nice as it would if it were like, um, you know, right out the shower, clean shower smell. <laughs> Perfect, but that should hold it. All right, you guys. So yeah, so I'm gonna get some highlights in there. It's pretty dark. I went to get highlights um, earlier, I think last year, about a year ago, I wanna say. Yeah, give or take about a year ago. And um, she only put a few in there. I didn't really pay attention, but yeah. Um, it was from Groupon, I'd never been there before. I use Groupon a lot actually, especially for like, uh, birthday party events or like things to do sometimes for like the um like adventure rooms or like the escape rooms um they're pretty expensive almost like a hundred dollars per person sometimes you can get them for like a um, hundred dollars for like five or six people um it just depends where but for the most part you know you're gonna have to end up like driving obviously like further away to like um get the deal or to like a place you know, that you don't really um, know or anything, but it's worth it for sure, especially if you have like, you know, like, uh, five or six people coming with you for the birthday party. Perfect, and I hate not putting like any heat protector on. That's a huge no-no, like, because I um, straighten my hair so rarely so the times I do, I wanna make sure I'm like doing whatever I can to protect the hair, but then they said no product on it. So normally I would put like um, mousse in there after the shower, one to make it smell good and to keep it kind of like in its shape and its form. And then I would let it air dry, come back to it, and then I would spritz the whole entire hair with heat protectant. I have like three different kinds, three different flavors. They smell like bubble gum. It's really yummy, you know? It's it's kind of ironic, cause like, like all the smells smell good that you put in the hair, but just with it straight, I don't know, it's just, it just still doesn't smell like as good as it would when you like come right fresh out the shower, you know what I mean? But, I mean, could you imagine her putting in the, um, the highlights with curly hair, how crazy that would look? Because my hair is still like all over the place? No. So I always, 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 whenever I go get my hair done, straighten it, you know, just to make it easier for them to apply the color and then for everything to look more uniform. I don't know, I'm kind of gonna miss the dark hair. It's, it's grown on me figuratively and literally. <laughs> but it'll be okay. You know, it's summertime. You know, put a, a few highlights in there. It'll be okay. <laughs> so what plans do you have today? Yeah? Well, that sounds fun. Relaxing. Well, today I 
went to the gym. We had a HIIT class. Uh, that's high um, intensity interval training. I always switch up the eyes. Like sometimes I'm like high interval intensity training, but my parents don't know the difference. Let's just call it class. <laughs> Then I had um, a hit class today and it was cardio, so it was really good. It was really good. There was like row machines. Um, we were jumping in and out of squares. We were doing like hopscotch, um, stepping up and down on boxes, carrying heavy weights and going back and forth. I started off with the 25 and then I went to the 55 pound ball, but then um, I got, got really heavy so I put that down and then I just grabbed a weight instead a 33 pound weight and then I just kind of like you know like held it and like pushed it up like as I walked um up and down <laughs> the rows there and then we had um I think they're called shoot throughs where it's like you get in push push up position and then you have to stick your your knee over to your wrist and then you have to bring the other knee up to it as well. And I have like zero coordination and I'm so clumsy. So like the instructor pretty much had to hold my hand the whole time for those. <laughs> and then there was this other weird one too, where you have to do a push up, and you have to bend back as well. So then it's kind of like looking like a bear crawl, but um, I don't know. So I kept moving my wrist. It was just uncomfortable to like, do the push up and then not like readjust your hand. He's like, oh, you don't have to readjust your hand, but I'm like, oh no, I'm not built for this. So I just ended up doing a plank, a simple plank. Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> and then the uh, timings, so it's 20 seconds on, you the exercise. Like one of them was jump rope. So you would do the jump rope for 20 seconds and then you would have a 10 second break in between it. And no water breaks this time. So we said, bring your water bottle with you as we go from station to station. And then, so after the 20 seconds of um, exercise, then it would switch over to 40 seconds and then a full minute, so a full straight minute. So we're in the same section and um, doing the same exercise three times over. And so sometimes it's set up like that. Sometimes there's laps around the room where like you do this one for 30 seconds or 40 seconds, then you switch to the next one. And then you're gonna make it a lap um, around the room for like three, three laps, normally it's three. I don't think it's ever four, yeah, it's about three. But it's so much fun, you guys. If you haven't tried it yet, I highly recommend it. So how I got that um, to that, so in April, I wanted to start um, working out. So over at our housing community, um, there is someone that does these exercise classes and it's three times a week. It is on Saturday morning at 8.30 or, or, or and, or and, and. You can go also Monday at 5.30 p.m or you can do Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. or you can do all three of them. And the class is free, which is really amazing because if you see how much um, equipment this man brings for setup, like, it's crazy. Like, yeah, people help like put it up. I don't know if they help set up because he gets there really, really early. He probably gets there like almost sometimes an hour early just to set up and get everything ready for us. So he works with a, um, like a health, um, a herbal company. And, um, so he sells his product, but then, so his main like community is to get us to, um, work out and then he can sell us a product and he's really, really passionate about working out. Like he is so motivating, so motivated, and it's really incredible. So the classes, sometimes you can have like, they're outside and kids are welcome as well of all ages, which is really neat. So you don't have to be like, oh no, I don't have a babysitter. No, you bring them. And then there's a park there as well. So if they don't wanna participate, they can just play at the park. There's like basketball hoops over there, um, slide, and it's just like a, a nice hangout park, you know, relaxing. 
So yeah, bring the family there and, and then just hang out. But the equipment he brings, like he has this huge boom box. I think it has wheels on it. Um, he said he's had it for ages, which is cool because it sounds really good and his music is really good too. Like I love the music. That's one of the main reasons why I keep going back to my class uh, because music, I love to dance in between sets and it just makes you feel good and pumped. And um, so I started working out with his class and um, for for a couple weeks. So I started like the beginning of April and then it did it for uh, like two, three weeks on Mondays and Wednesdays. I didn't do it on Saturdays. My husband went to um, the main gym. Sometimes I would join him or just like take a break. But, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, and then I switched to the other class because um, it's indoors, which honestly it's not even that much cooler, but at least you don't have the sun in your face. Um, sometimes they open up the door for me when it gets really hot, which I love, and it's always like a funny scene to get to that point, but because I am like the only one in there that's always <laughs> complaining about the temperature. It's like when you catch me between sets, you're like, how are you? I'm so hot, it's so hot. I was pulling on my shirt, it's ridiculous. I just, I don't know. I'm just hot a lot of the time. So like the AC's on now, it wasn't on earlier because the house is pretty cool. But um, I don't know, I just like it uh, cool. Like we sleep with it on like 68, 68, rarely 70. And um, during the day, like right now it's not on. Sometimes we even turn on the heat. It's like, I don't even know what temperature's outside, like 60 or 70, but the house is just like a ice box sometimes, you know? So you just gotta adjust accordingly. <laughs> Perfect, well I guess that is it for the bottom half. And then, so the equipment that this man brings, so he has that big boom box, right? And then he'll bring like, um, I saw like a half circle, you know, like those like blue half circle balls that you can like um, balance on and you're supposed to do like squats or something or hold a weight or something like that. <laughs> but um, that was their last time. I don't think he was there last time because that's not something that he normally brings, I feel. Um, but yeah, so he'll have some free weights there. They're never heavy either. So they're even like a good um, weight so that like a child can use them. They're probably like 10 pounds or so-ish. You know, it just depends. Um, he doesn't really go that heavy, you know. I don't know. I don't know if it's a liability thing or it's just like, just didn't want to bring like the heavy stuff out. But it's okay because you can do light weights and... Um, just do a lot of sets of it and then it'll still be heavy, you know? <laughs> it's all good. And then he'll also bring like these little orange, these little orange cones um, that you can run back and forth to and like on the lawn because there's like a little grassy area. So sometimes we'll have us either do like a lap on the concrete or run in the grass for a nice cardio. Uh, he'll bring like a box out of from the yoga room or sometimes the weight bars from the yoga room as well. These um, are normally like 30 to 40 pounds. You know those really long silver ones with just like the weights on the side. It's normally stacked up like some sort of pyramid inside like... Sorry about that guys. I lost you there for a second. My alarm went off. I had a two o'clock alarm on my phone and I'm gonna tell you why at the end too. <laughs> it's pretty fun. So yeah, so, um, you know, the weight bars, he'll have um, the long silver ones and then some, the weights on the end. And then he'll have a jump rope ladder, which sometimes he'll want us to hop through it like with one foot or two foot, or two foot, two feet. <laughs> Our last time he, um, so this one messed me up. So you'd have to do a push-up, but you'd have to walk, you know, the length of the ladder. So every little square, you put your hand in there and then you keep walking, but it messed up my shoulder. Like not to the point where it's like dislocated, just the point where just like the muscle is tearing, you know, cause it's growing. But I had to take a day off from my other gym 
and then I went back because I, I just can't stay away because it's so addicting. And um, it was just a little bit sore there, but uh, that's exactly what did it. It's that ladder walk because I don't really do that. Um, I don't know, it's kind of hard to balance like both. Like obviously the one inside is more like ideal just because the sun's not in your face, but the other one's really nice because it's closer to home. Like the, the indoor gym is about six, seven minute drive. And then the other one's in walking distance. It's just right up the street. So they're both nice. And then they're, they're, you know, you just see different people and like, like you have your gym fit family and then you have your other gym fit family. And it's like, oh, you know, I want to see Helen today. Then, you know, you got to do the one here. And then if you want to go see like Sarah, then you got to do the one over there. But if I could, I would literally do them both, at least the two times a week here at the one by the house. The other one I'm supposed to be taking rest days because it's so good for you for like recovery and your muscles and everything. But again, I find it really hard to do that because I just love being there. I'm in the house most of the time. I'm just a homebody. I'm just a homebody. I have you guys to talk to you. That makes me happy. I love making videos for you guys. Yeah, and then other things he brings, sometimes he has like the elastic ropes and then you'd either put like, you'd lay down and put like your knee or your leg in there or you'd stand up and then it would straddle like a pole. And then you would have to just like wrap your arms around it and like, you know, like a tension, a tension rope. I think that's what they're called, tension rope. I'm bad with what they're called. You think I would know, but no, I just, I just go to the station, grab it and just do as I'm told really. <laughs> but the classes are super fun. I never like worked, really worked out before. I mean, I've been to the gym here and there, but never like really anything like, consistent. I just love it because you really like it's a community and you have your friends and then you have your meetups and you look forward to these things and it's healthy for you and with everyone there it helps keep you accountable as well you know so I recommend it especially if you guys have like a free class like a free workout class try it out um and then as far as the indoor ones go um sometimes there's like um a seven day trial or like a three day trial or something. They'll have like different promo uh, promo promotions depending on like uh, where you guys are at and stuff. And there's so many options as well. Like if you don't want hit class, because it is extreme, I'm not even gonna lie. Like it is not for the faint of heart. I don't think my mom can do it. My husband, you've seen my husband, he is fit and he can't do it because he doesn't do cardio, so a little bit on the treadmill or the elliptical and he's ready to go take a nap or pass out. But yeah, it takes time, but it's crazy because like you'll start it and everything will be like so intense, but it's so addicting. But then you'll go back and you'll go back and then soon you're going to be jump roping and you're not even huffing. Like you don't even need to huff because you are getting stronger. You're increasing your weights as well. Like when I started, I was doing like 15s and like 18s. Um, even though, you know, like I know obviously I can uh, do more, but you don't want to do so much more where all of a sudden like you're hurt, you know, because your muscles are going to tear as oh, cringy as that sounds because they're going to grow and they're going to get bigger and you're going to get sculpted. But it is really fun. And I recommend it for sure. <laughs> let's see, let's do this piece. Yeah. Oh yes, um, so my alarm for two o'clock. Why the video cut out there for a second. <laughs> um, our HOA is bringing a camel out here. So it is part of the spring break week so it's spring break this week <laughs> hey. and um so today's a camel i know friday they're doing monkeys i know that because i got two stars in the calendar because i want to see both and then uh yesterday they had a magician so there was supposed to be a gaming truck come out um to come out tomorrow but um that got canceled for some reason no idea why 
but you know, sometimes, um, I don't know, sometimes vendors cancel. Like we had a food truck. Well, we used to have food trucks random. Now they just bring them out when there's events only, I guess, because they weren't meeting like their minimum and then the HOA has to pay out of pocket or something. I'm um, not sure how that works. But yeah, so now there's only food trucks with the events there because they figure like all the people, they're gonna eat the food trucks. And they have different kinds of food trucks as well. Like they have a seafood food truck, which I don't like because I don't like seafood. But um, the one I really like, it's like um, lumpia. I like lumpia a lot. And um, I actually tried them all just to see which ones. I love the taco food trucks. Oh, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with those ones. I have not had a bad food truck. Like my husband don't eat from it. He's like, no, I don't want to get sick. I'm like, you're not going to get sick. Like I've never gotten sick from a food truck. I mean, I'm sure it's happened, obviously. Like people get sick from pretty much anything. But um, yeah, if you haven't tried a food truck, I recommend it for sure. Did I get that back, Deuce? I think so. <laughs> oh, okay, almost done, you guys. So we have just a couple pieces. It's just crazy how all things work out. Like, because I was doing that workout class here, the free one over here by where I live. And then, um, so they were promoting another one, I guess another vendor had come out and they're like, oh, we're gonna do a free group workout. But it was really, really early on a Saturday. My husband was like, no, I don't wanna do it. Let's not do that. It's gonna cut into my gym routine and everything. But um, I'm like, look, I'm really gonna do this. So, you know, you can do your gym and I'll try this. Um, but it was really hot outside. It was oh, so, so, oh, so hot. And it was the end of April. But we went out there and then we did it. It was, it was pretty tough. It was like nothing I've ever done before. I've never done a class like that, never. But it was incredible. Like there was some that were already members and then there were some that were there to sign up or just, you know, just to do it, to check it out, see what it's about. Um, there were vendors as well who gave out like protein, like protein chips, um, drinks, there was like um, uh, like massage envy and stuff out there. You know, just like uh, vendors to come out and promote and market. I love when they do that, just so we can like support like the community and, and see who's out there, you know, really. <laughs> yeah. But then anyway, so I did the class. It was really hard. There was a raffle at the end. I got my name pulled and I got a month free class. And then it was funny because I started like a couple days later and I'm like, yeah, I mean, I don't know about this. I'm just doing it because it's free right now. And then my coach said, so when you become a member, when I was talking about the app, I'm like, member, I'm like, that's crazy. It's like not happening. Like I don't work out. I do food. <laughs> I don't work out. Um, and here I am a member almost a year later. <laughs> I love this gym so much. It's, it's crazy because like we don't have any, um, like me and my husband, we don't, really hang out and stuff. Like we have our friends and stuff, but like as far as like our jobs and everything go, or our job friends, he plays games with the people he works with. Um, I don't do anything. So every now and then I'll get like a text from uh, one of my friends and she'll be like, hey, you know, you wanna do something? I'm like, yeah, girl, yes, I do wanna do something. And Abby will um, come along too, but um, yeah, other than that, nothing. So anyways, with this gym, they have little events too and like um, picnics and they'll do like dinners and like dances and stuff. So it's like a whole like community in a community. Yes, the classes are expensive, but you know, what good ha hobby, 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 what good hobby is it? Well, I don't know. I guess there's free stuff like sports and pickleball and stuff, which they have like pickleball and sports competitions um, here as well. We'll do that. Um, but, you know, there's like um, other classes like bike classes. You can do Pilates classes. Um, I haven't tried the Pilates. I've tried the bike. That hurt. I can't do the bike. But, um, yeah, so hit classes is it for me. 
I don't know how long I'll be doing it. People do it for an average for like 12 months to 18 months I saw, but then like, you know, then you start being friends with these people and it's like you want to continue to see them because like if you go every day, you like, you know, like at nine o'clock or at 12 o'clock or at 4.30, you're gonna um, be excited when your friend's there. You can work out with your friends, but honestly, the classes go by so fast. Like it feels like 10 minutes, but you feel so great when you're done because you did that. Like you did that hit workout class. You are strong, stronger every day. Everybody's stronger. <laughs> well, you guys look, what do you think? Did I tell you about the camel? We're gonna go see the camel. I think I did. Yeah, there's gonna be a camel down there at the um, the HOA. So I'm gonna take some pictures of them. <laughs> Love animals. Camel and the monkeys, that's what I wanna see. Perfect, well, uh, what do you guys think? So the length is really long. Um, I got the appointment set up for Friday for highlights. So we're gonna try full highlights. Let me turn around so you can see. <laughs> yep and that's it you guys thank you so much for hanging out with me and hearing me rant and rumble and i'm like what am i going to talk to you guys today about and this is just the first thing all of it's impromptu pretty much you guys i don't write anything down i just turn on the camera and then i just fall in love perfect well um i hope you guys like this video if there's anything you guys want to see, uh, let me know. I'm going to try to get some video as well um, of the lightning process. I'm going to ask her if it's okay. Um, even, you know, if like she's not in there or anything, just to like take you guys with me because I love bringing you everywhere I go. <laughs> okay, sweets. Well, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I always love seeing you. And um, thank you so much for hanging out watching this. I will catch you on the next one, okay? Bye. He's not gonna like take a chunk out of you, take a finger off it. Well, uh, the goats, cows, a lot of uh, animals in here, herbivores don't have time. Yes. Oh, sure. <laughs> so cute. You